You don't know why it takes so long to get help when you're in the emergency room? Well, we have 32,000 nurses in Canada blocked from working for no other reason than they have no direct path to prove their qualifications. Uh, they are immigrants from around the world. One of them uh, is Maria. Uh, this is Kim Christian. He's her husband, and uh, she's not here today, but he was just relating the story that she came here to Canada 12 years ago. She was already a nurse, still hasn't been able to get fully licensed to practice. And she said uh, she was able to get licensed very quickly in the United States. Tell yeah, me about that. Yeah, it was, she could easily practice in a heartbeat, you know, make five, six times the amount that she would probably make in here. And it's just the barriers, right? The barriers, the, um, you know, all these obstacles to practice. Like if you're foreign trained, you know, I'm hoping that we can see some of that uh, dissipate. 85% of Filipino nurses in Canada are banned from working, even though in the States they can take an exam and get to work in a couple of weeks. This makes no sense. Well, and think about it. When next time you're in a waiting room for 20 hours straight, uh, we've had a, a red seal for our trades workers for 70 years in Canada. We need a blue seal for our professional workers. One exam nationwide. Let's leverage federal health and immigration money to get the provinces to sign on so that Maria and others like her can take a test, prove they're qualified to hit our high standards and get to work serving patients, earning powerful paychecks. What do you think? I agree completely. Let's do it. Bring it home. Thank you. Thank you.